Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Train Simulator 2022. And today we're going to be looking at the Glasgow Subway route add-on by Thompson Interactive. And as you can see, we're going to be playing one of these scenarios that do come with it. We are going to be riding the uh, Inner Circle service in the 1980 DM Glasgow Subway from Broomlone Depot. So we're going to be doing a return service, as you can see here, the Inner Circle service. We've got the man here telling us what we need to do. Uh, but a little bit about the route first before we get into it. So we get to go round and round under the heart of Scotland's most populous city with Thompson Interactive's authentic rendition of Glasgow Subway Train Simulator. Dating back to the early 19 1890s, the Glasgow Subway is the third oldest system of its kind in the world. The line was constructed as a twin track circular loop almost entirely underground, apart from the train depot serving a total of 15 stations spread across both sides of the River Clyde. The line was built on an unusual four foot narrow gauge and tunnel bores of just 11 foot but making uh, for a very diminutive train appearance. Originally built to be cable driven, third rail was later installed and energized to 600 volts following a major overhauls in the 1970s. The line has fitted with automatic train operation which allows for radical transformation in service frequency. To align with this upgrade, a brand new second generation of rolling stock was built for the line, a fleet of 33 rail cars which can operate independently and up to three car formations. Now aging, the second generation of stock is due to be replaced but it is still working hard below the streets of Glasgow day in and day out. And now in train sim that you can experience the full Glasgow subway line must be recreated by Thompson Interactive. Okay, so this is perfect. Uh, I love my underground stuff. London, the LU, everyone knows, is some of my favorite track lines. Uh, so I am really excited for this. I will be making some scenarios on this as well, which will be posted within the Discord if anyone would be interested in them. But today we got good afternoon. Today's your train. You will form service 11 on the inner circle. Prepare your train and drive in manual mode to depot line one, where you'll change cabins and reverse to your first station stop at Ibrox. Be careful to slow down on approach to ensure that the whole train is on the platform at Ibrox before opening the passenger doors. Okay, so let's take a look around this train. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the reverser uh, straight into automatic mode, I believe. There we go. Into forward, sorry. And you can see the automatic mode is now at 18 kilometers. Uh, we're going to make sure our headlights are on, which we're going to put on our tail lights. Uh, we're going to make our instrument lights on as well. And we are going to turn off the parking brake. So inside the cab itself, you know, it's a very standard cabin. I do love that it's still interactive, that we can play with the door here. If we just take a look on the outside, you can see uh, oh, there's just a one car there. It's a, it's a very peculiar looking train for sure. There we go. We'll get the front of it eventually. Uh, so yeah, we're coming out of uh, Depot 8 there. We're going to come down. You've got to stop at the platform before joining the inner or outer circle, depending on which way you're going. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this, really excited to give this a go. Can we get inside? Uh, do we have a camera inside? Doesn't look like there's one currently, but we can obviously uh, take a little nose inside the carriageways. You know, it, it reminds me a lot of the Isle of Wight kind of stuff, doesn't it? But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's really cool that we've uh, got another underground route. I'm really excited for this. And this is my first go as well. I've not had a go yet. Uh, so look, let's put the train into shunt. There we go. And uh, obviously, look, we're limited to 18, so it won't go above 18. You can see the depot line 3, depot 1. There you go. We're going to sit nicely at 17 miles an hour. You can see we've got nice uh, white lights. Okay, now that we've stopped here, what we're going to want to do is put the parking brake back on. There you go, parking brake is on. We need to shut this door better. I think that's the best we can do. 
and put the train back into auto. And I'm going to turn off this stuff. Okay, well done. Now move to the rear cabin where you, you drive to your first passenger stop at Ibrox where the signal is cleared for departure. Okay, so we've uh, shut down the cabin. It's on the brake there. I think that's all well and good. That was the front. There we go. We're now at the front of the train, so we're going to do the same thing now. Uh, let's put the brake on to brake. Signal is green. Put you into forward. Instrument lighting on. Headlights to the on position. Perfect. Uh, we're going to turn off the parking brake, sorry. And let's go into shunt. Cab lights are here. We're going to want this on in a minute. And I believe the saloon lights are on over here as well. There we go. We can put them on. And uh, we're now going to head down into the inner circle loop. Uh, so the next stop will be the Ibrox Inner. Okay, here we go. First stop, Ibrox. Uh, this does worry me because uh, I've got to get used to the braking. I think it's going to take a little bit of time, but here you go. Uh, so there we go. We're at this station. We're going to go to Cessnock, Kinning Park, Shields Road, West Shields, Bridge Street, St. Enoch, uh, Butchin Street. It does look pretty cool though, doesn't it? It looks really good. Really, really good. I'm so excited. I can't wait to uh, try and make some scenarios. Okay, we're now entering the ATO mode. We now have auto drive permit as shown on the desk display. To enable ATO automatic train operation, move your reverser to notched A, and then push the throttle brake control fully forward to the P notch. You can now use the auto start button to proceed around the route between the stations. Remember to stop at every station and allow the passengers to board. If you wish to continue in manual driving mode, you can, however, this will be a challenge. Okay, did not expect that. Okay, so. We can now change this up to automatic mode. Push the train all the way up to P. And then obviously there must be a start stop button. Let's have a little look, is it here? Auto start. 
Uh, let's read that brief again. Okay, I just want to check what's over here. Ceiling lights, MA. Main on. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely this, isn't it? So does it break on its own? Man, these drivers really won't have much to do, will they? Okay, that's pretty damn cool. Not being funny. I think we'll let it do some, and then near the end, we will definitely give it a go ourselves. There does seem to be a lack of passengers. Like, there's plenty on the train, but there doesn't seem to be any out here. Uh, but yeah, that's so cool. I mean, he was going so fast into the end, I'd be going so slow. Um, I wouldn't trust the brakes. <laughs> Anything coming? I mean, it should just start going on its own, right? Or do I have to press start every time? Okay, welcome to Kinning Park. I'd love to see another one like come in. in. I wonder how many of the drivers actually just use the automatic system. I suppose all of them. Maybe they're, they're, they're told to for safety reasons, maybe. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Not very clued up with the Glasgow lines, to be honest. But it all looks pretty damn cool, eh?
Okay, welcome to Shields Road. Welcome to West Street. Welcome to Bridge Street. Still haven't seen any uh, other traffic coming my way. Uh, if we go into the F1, so what I will do for the last kind of depot line, so once we get to Kelvin Hall, uh, I will take over for the last three and uh, I'll try and drive them on manual mode. Who knows what might happen.
Okay, welcome to uh, Buchanan Street. I can't wait to make some long scenario, like long shift ones, maybe doing like two loops or something, or doing one loop one way, coming back then going the other way or something. It'll be good fun. Okay, welcome to uh, Cal Cadden's. So, two more stops before we take over for the last part. Welcome to uh, St. George's Cross.
Okay, welcome to Kelvin Bridge. So for the last couple of stops, we are going to try and take over. Uh, so I am going to move this to the off position. Bring this back down to the brake. And then move it into the forward. There we go. Not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, so I completely uh, balls that up. To be honest with you, I felt like it, I did exactly nearly the same as what I saw. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Uh, we'll, we'll try again now at Kelvin Hall Inner. Uh, a little bit better, didn't quite trust myself. Okay, next up will be uh, Patrick Inner.
Okay, welcome to Patrick Inno. That's probably my best one yet. Still not great. terminating here and coming. Okay, last stop. Uh, go van in up before we head back up to the depot. Uh, so yeah, not amazing, but not bad. Okay, so we're now terminating our service here at Govan and returning to the depot. We must now disable ATO, which we've already done. Um, go back into the F. If you're already in manual driving mode, then you can continue without changing any controls.
Okay guys, so there we go. That is the end of our scenario, uh, the end of our first run here uh, on the uh, Glasgow subway. Uh, I really like it. Can't wait to do some bits and pieces with it. Uh, it's really challenging if you want to, to drive it alone. Um, but yeah, re really like it. Love, love Underground. Some of my favorite stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. Any of you guys picked it up? Are you guys enjoying this? Please let me know in those comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are and stuff. I'm not sure if they're going to ask us to move it back the line or not yet. We'll find out. But what we will do is shut down our cab so we are ready. We are going to throw on that parking brake. There you go. Well done. Move to the rear cabin and return to depot parking 14. We're going to turn this to the off position. Everything here to the off position while we uh, switch caps. I'll put that into there. There we go. Back into cab one. Into forward. Parking brake. It needs to come off. Okay, so we're going to depot line 14. If you have enjoyed this content, please do subscribe down below. Hit that like button. And like I said, I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are of the route. I think the route itself, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It is a loop. Um, but yeah, I think there's enough here. I think if you have interest in the underground, if you're, you know, big into Scottish trains, there's definitely a huge interest here. They go tell us to pull into 14. This is cool. We get to finish up in the train wash. And the depot doors are even opening up. Look at that. That is wicked. What a finish. I said this was my first look as well. First time I've driven on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.